hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to search the records from a SQL server database in ASP.NET and display records in a grid view control now before I enter the username to search the details let's check my database table I want to check the details of this Kumar Kumar search and see here we got the output the Kumar details in a grid view control for example if I want to check Charan here we got the Charan details suppose the username which is not available in the user database for example Charan123 when I click search see no records found I am creating the new project for this video tutorial go to file new project and I am choosing ASP.NET web application the .NET framework is 4.6.1 the project name is search records click ok and I am choosing the template empty and the project is created successfully go to solution explorer I am creating a new web form page in this project I right click the project name add new item and I am selecting web form display records grid view add and here we got our newly created web page with some default HTML5 code now between the form tag I am adding the grid view control go to toolbox minimize the standard data grid view control now in this grid view control I am adding some properties show header when empty which is true empty data text is equals to I want to display in a grid view control when the records are not found no records font after adding the grid view control search and here I am adding one text box control and one button control go to toolbox expanding the standard toolbox text box control and one button control I'm making this name ID text search and the button ID button search horizontal line and I want to put these controls in a center tag center copy this paste here which one such records from the database display in a grid view control I'm adding one horizontal line and here I forgot to write the text button such that's it we have done the designing part now we need to connect the database go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection my server name is I'm selecting the database name 
sample db is my user database test connection is succeeded click ok and here we got the sample db data connection but we require the data source for this sample db for that right click the sample db database connection go to properties under connection the connection string here is the dat data source copy that one open solution explorer open web.config file after configuration i am adding connection string add name is equal name is equals to my connection connection string i'm pasting the data source here and the provider name is system dot data dot sql client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the source mode go to design mode double click the search button control and here we got the button click event to connect the database we need to import the namespaces using system dot data dot sql client using system dot data and the last one is using system dot configuration once we add these namespaces now we can able to access the sql server classes in this project string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes i'm adding my connection string name which is my connection i'm pasting here dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection which takes the parameter of this main connection i am opening the connection sql command sql com is equals to new sql command after adding the sql command class now i am writing the search query string sql query is equals to between double quotes between these double quotes i am writing the select statement to retrieve the values from the database before writing the sql statement we'll visit the my sql server database will check the table and the database name i just logged into microsoft sql server management studio i'm expanding the databases sample db is my user database i'm expanding that one as well as the tables i'm expanding i'm using the table user raj for this demo purpose right click the table select top 1000 rows And here we got the results of the table user reg. Now my aim is when a user want to search for a particular employee records, those records I want to display in a grid view control. Let's switch over to my ASP.NET coding part, write the select statement and, and finish the rest of the code. I'm writing the select statement, select start from the table name is dbo dot user reg copy that one paste here where username username like between single quotes and having wild card percentage plus plus at this username after adding the select query sql command dot command text is equals to 
SQL query. SQL command dot connection. The connection is SQL con. SQL com dot parameters dot add with value. I'm adding username. Copy this one and paste here. Comma. And the object is a text box control, which is a text search dot text property data table dt is equals to new data table after adding the data table I need the SQL data adapter SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter which takes the parameter of the SQL command SGA dot fill method with the data table object. After that, grid view one dot data source is equals to DT. And the last one is I want to bind the grid view control. Grid view one dot data bind method. that's it we have done the coding part let's run this application we'll check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the output of that code now before I enter the username to search the details let's check my database table i want to check the details of this kumar kumar search and see here we got the output the Kumar details in a grid view control for example if I want to check Charan here we got the Charan details suppose the username which is not available in the user database for example Charan123 and I click search see no records found that's it if you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.